Well, Kentucky Derby fever has taken over Churchill Downs this week, but Fridays, Paula, they are for the Phillies. That's right. Each year, female horses take over the track on the day before Derby Day. Local 12's Cassie Arsenal shows us what it's all about. It is all about the ladies. Pink everywhere you look. Phillies taking over the track. It is females all the time. And today, they make it a point to honor breast cancer and ovarian cancer survivors in one of those special moments that everyone shares all day. Hot pink, light pink, pink dresses, pink headpieces, pink suits, and a pink beard? Pink is placed everywhere you look on Oaks Day. Love it. <laughs> Love it. I think pink is her favorite color. She's always in pink. Well, I get to wear pink, which is my favorite color, and it's my sorority color. The Oaks is the third most attended day of racing in the United States. 120,000 people are here. Some celebrities, like NSYNC's Joey Fatone and lawyer, designer, and television personality Star Jones make the Oaks Day a priority. Breast cancer is something that we as women need to be very conscientious about. I'm very much into health care when it comes to women. So coming here and showing support on the day where the Phillies are running, this works with everything I do. Uh, mother is a survivor. She had, she was uh, diagnosed. Uh, thank God, uh, did a little bit of a, obviously work chemo stuff like that. So she's great right now. Obviously, so you know it's very near and dear to my heart. It's it's really great that they of course honor that, raise money, raise awareness. Obviously, and it's a great day to do it. This year, a chilling moment that brings people to tears. 149 breast and ovarian cancer survivors walk the track as people honor their fight. This walk is now a 15-year tradition that has raised more than one million for women's health advocacy. So whether you win or lose cheering on your Philly Friday, we all win by championing health for the ladies because cancer is something that affects us all. Survivors submit their applications in January. They're picked around March and people can nominate their loved ones as well. Reporting at Churchill Downs, I'm Cassie Arsenal, Local 12 News.